everyone, so I'm really sorry if you can hear like a background noise of rain. Literally as soon as I hit record on my camera, torrential rain just came flooding down and literally we have like a monsoon outside. Um, so I'm sorry if you can hear the rain but I really need to film because I haven't filmed in forever and um, I haven't really had a lot of um, time to film. I'm going on holiday in three days and I'm so excited and I went shopping the other day for this holiday just picking up random things really. And um, I tweeted asking if you guys wanted a haul because um, I wasn't sure because I know that I've done quite a fair few hauls recently. Um, so I thought you guys might be a bit bored of them, but a lot of you tweeted back saying that you wanted to see a haul. So I thought I would just show you a couple of random things that I've got for my holiday and then things that I've just bought in general. Um, and then I was thinking, I'm not sure about this because I know that I said I was going to do a kind of packing video of like what I'm taking on holiday. Um, but I thought I could maybe do like a holiday lookbook and like show you all the outfits I'm taking but I mean I don't really know if I'm going to do that yet because you guys may not even be interested. So the first thing I'll show you is actually from this bag which you can see here. A lot of you noticed that was a Gilly Hicks bag and you all asked me what I got from Gilly Hicks and that was actually the first time I'd ever been to a Gilly Hicks and I wasn't actually too keen on many of the clothes but then we stumbled across this top which is what I bought and it's like a boob tube but it's kind of like ruffly and it's got a bit of lace on it and it's just like a white one and then you can see in the centre it's got a belt that kind of ties up at the side in a bow and it's actually a kind of pale blue and white stripes I don't know if you can see, this is so pretty on um, but it was pretty expensive so that's why I only got one thing from um, Gilly Hicks um, but that was £26 and I got that in um, Westfield in London so I got that and I really like it, this is something I'm taking on holiday um, oh I just picked up another one of my Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic. This is basically like a toner, but it's just amazing. And then I also got another one of my perfumes. Um, you guys know that I've been using the Ascada Taj Sunset. This is a really great summer fragrance. It's really fruity. Um, I've said before that it's kind of on par with all the Britney Spears fragrances. So if you don't like the sickly sweet ones, you will definitely hate this. But um, I got another one because I finished my first bottle. And I got the medium size this time because... Ascada's perfumes are kind of limited edition, so I thought I'd just invest in a bigger bottle. Um, so this is probably going to be my summer scent. And I did go to Primark to get a couple of things for my holiday. Um, I didn't actually end up getting that much, but I got two pairs of shoes and some accessories. So the first thing I got was flip-flops because I needed some for my holiday. And um, I wasn't too keen on many of the designs, but I saw these and I thought they were quite cute, so I got these. They're kind of like a peachy and white coloured stripes and then the kind of periwinkle blue um, strap and I just thought they were quite nice. They're comfy so yeah and these were £1.50 so can't really go wrong with that. And then I also got some sandals to wear in the evening when I go out and I don't want to wear heels. This phone is driving me insane. So yeah, um, when I don't want to go out in the evening in heels I thought I'd get some sandals just to go with like kind of my dresses or skirts or whatever and this took me a while to pick some because I wanted a pair of shoes that would go with everything um, and I didn't really know what colour to get. I know a lot of people would have just said black but I didn't want black shoes. Um, I wanted something that wouldn't really stand out too much because I don't want the focus to be on my shoes. I would want it to be on my outfit, if that makes any sense. So I found these sandals in Primark and they're like kind of florally but they're like a nude colour which is perfect because that just works and they've got like that little tiny flower detailing but it doesn't look anything too drastic on and um, these are actually a size too big for me but I just thought I'd get them anyway and they're really comfy these were reduced to three pounds they were six pounds but reduced to three which is brilliant so I got them as well for the evening as for accessories I got some earrings from Primark and I never actually wear earrings but I do really like these and I wore them yesterday I wore these little um baby pink flowers yesterday and they looked really nice um, which was good because normally I can't really pull off earrings they've got like this really pretty kind of purpley pink flower some keys and then some more kind of vintagey looking ones all of them were two pounds so I really like them then I also just got a couple of bracelets um, it came in like a big set but I've separated them because I thought it looked too overpowering but they're just like this little kind of baby pinky peachy beads like pearls and stuff and I've got a couple separated here just because yeah but I really like these these are also from Primark I'm not sure how much they were probably like a pound or something like that um so yeah I think that's pretty much everything I got from Primark as I said I didn't really get a lot um on the way I got some little travel um bottles <laughs> like the little plastic things that you decant your stuff into. Got some of them, but they're not very interesting, so I won't show you them. 
I also got another pair of earrings. These are from Boots. Um, but I can't find the other one. Which is really bad because I haven't even worn them yet. But they're so pretty. Here's one of them. Like, feathers. They're so pretty. I think these were like £3 from Boots. But I need to find the other one because I can't just wear one of them. But yeah, they're really nice. Um, boots. I didn't even know Boots did jewellery, but apparently they do. I got a couple of makeup things from like the drugstore and I also went to MAC. I was a bit bad and went and got quite a few things from MAC, but um, yeah, drugstore stuff. I got this lipstick which I'm wearing today. I absolutely love this. This is from Rimmel and it is in 206 Nude Pink. That's what it looks like. It's a really nice like peachy pink. And then I also jumped on the bandwagon and picked up the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer and I got mine in Fair. Um, yeah, I've tried this, it's really good. It's quite like a heavy coverage, um, quite like thick, but it's good. I like it. I can't remember how much it was though. And then I just picked up some of my favourite fake eyelashes, which are the Girls Love Kimberly ones, which look like this. These are to go on holiday with me. I also got some um, little mini hairspray. I got the VO5 Ultimate Hold. Um, weather resistant hairspray. Um, I just wanted a little mini one, but I wanted it to work really well but not make my hair crunchy, so I went with this one. I've never actually tried it yet, but um, I hear it's good, so I got this one. I also picked up a nail polish, which is the one I'm wearing today. You guys know that I was asking about a kind of nude slash almost baby pink nail polish, and I suggested that I might get OPI Sweetheart, and everyone was like, no, don't get it, <laughs> it's really bad. Um, and yeah, I don't even really like OPI formula. I think it's really streaky and kind of horrible. But um, that's the only colour that I'd seen that was the colour that I wanted kind of thing. Um, and no like drugstore brands do that colour. And um, a lot of you said to get SE Fiji. Um, but I looked at that and that was still a bit kind of brownie orangey for what I wanted. So I ended up going with another suggestion from some of you, which was SE Ballet Slippers. Which is this absolutely gorgeous kind of nudie whitey pink. You can see it there. That is exactly the colour I was going for and it's perfect. I love the formula of these. Um, so yeah, I got this in John Lewis. I didn't know that um, we had like places that sold SE in the UK, like shops. I thought you could only get it online. But turns out you can get it in John Lewis and you can also get it in Bentles. So there you go. This was like £9 something though, so pretty expensive. But I love the colour, so you know, it's worth it. And then I also got some sunglasses. These are from Next. I just got these because they have such a pretty design at the side, like I love that design. These are just regular like bug sunglasses. Um, but I needed some new ones because my other ones broke, so I got these. I can't remember how much these were, I got these quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, I got these. And so then the last couple of things, um, as I said I did go to MAC. Um, these weren't really essential, but I just really wanted to try some of these things. Um, so the first thing is a foundation, and I'd had this before. I used to wear this about two or three years ago, and I really liked it then, but I never repurchased really it, and I don't really know why. Um, but I wanted to try it out again, so I went and got the um, Studio Tech foundation again, which is the kind of cream. You can see it there. I'm in NW20, which to me, or there, rather looks a bit tanned, but I'm wearing it today, and it seems fine. Like, it doesn't make me look ridiculously orange or anything so um yeah I got that and I really like it I just really like this one mainly because it looks amazing in photographs so yeah I picked up another one of them and then I got two eyeshadows and a mascara first eyeshadow is floof and I've been wanting to try this for so long um this is really really pretty I've got both of the shadows I'm going to show you on today so this is floof and I've got that on my inner corner and all over my lid. And I also picked up Malt. It's a gorgeous kind of bronzy brown. Reminds me a lot of the um, eye curl from MAC in Teddy. Kind of like an eyeshadow form of that. Very, very pretty. So I got both of them. And then the mascara I got was the Zoom Lash. Um, I used to have the... I can't remember which one it was now. Really tiny one. I can't remember, but I really liked it anyway. And um, my friend had the Zoom Lash and she said it was really good, so... I thought I would try it out. You guys know what mascara looks like. So here you can see what the um, two eyeshadows look like and then with the mascara as well. And I'm going to be taking those products away with me. So those two eyeshadows and this mascara and that's going to be kind of like my nighttime makeup. And then the final things I got, I got these. They're like um, gel pads that um, 
go in your high heels basically so if I choose to wear high heels these are like little gel cushion pads that go kind of where the ball of your foot's going to be and they just I'm going to make it more comfortable and um, these are from Shoal I don't know my mum bought me these she was just you know and then the final thing I got is a hat and um, I never actually wear hats but um, obviously because I've been dyeing my hair a lot recently I'm going to need to kind of protect my hair from the sun and I saw this hat in Matalan and I, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was like £6 and I just thought it was so cute, like I love this little flat. And so I have that for like, I don't know, <laughs> if I'm sunbathing or something. I really like it but I do feel like a cowgirl when I put it on, like I think I look a little country but um, you know I got that, I thought it was really cute. So. I have this hat as well. So that's really like the majority of the things I've bought recently. Obviously I have a bunch of other stuff I'm going to be taking on holiday with me um, but I just didn't show it in this haul because I thought it would just make it way 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 too long. Um, so the last thing I'm going to show you is something that I didn't actually buy um, but basically my mum found this kind of jewellery box in one of the wardrobes in our house and um, she showed it to me and said kind of like oh you don't want this do you? And I immediately was like, yes, it's beautiful. Um, and she actually told me that I picked it out like 10 or 11 years ago in a shop and I said that I liked it. I don't know how old I was, like six. And I just said, oh, I really like that. And my mum like bought it, but never gave it to me. Um, but it looks like this. And I really, really like it. Like I'm surprised I picked that out at such a young age. But it's got like the little flower drawer. And it and like comes out. I've got my Primark <laughs> bracelets in there at the moment. And then the top bit like opens up and it's got like a mirror. And then it's got the three compartments at the bottom. I just thought that was so pretty. I'm so pleased that I picked that out <laughs> and can finally have it. I hope you enjoyed the little haul. I know I've been doing a lot recently, so I hope it's not getting too boring for you all. Um, but I'll list everything I got below as always, and I shall see you all soon. Mm -hmm.